Now, have you ever wondered why we don't feel Earth's rotation? It's spinning at a whopping 1,040 miles per hour at the equator, and yet we don't feel a thing. Welcome to our exploration of the mind-boggling mysteries of our planet's rotation. Our home, the Earth, is in a constant state of spin, rotating on its axis once every 24 hours. This continuous twirl is what gives us our cycle of day and night. Now, let's consider this. The Earth is not a perfect sphere, but an oblate spheroid with an equatorial diameter larger than its polar diameter. This means that the speed of rotation isn't uniform across the planet's surface. At the equator, the Earth spins at approximately 1,040 miles per hour. As we move towards the poles, the speed of rotation decreases, reaching almost zero at the poles themselves. So if the Earth is spinning so fast, why don't we feel it? Why aren't we all dizzy from this constant twirling? This is a question that has puzzled scientists, philosophers and curious minds for centuries. The answer to this riddle lies not in the realm of the mystical or the philosophical, but in the cold, hard numbers of physics. Our perception of motion is not determined by the actual speed of an object, but by changes in that speed. And the Earth, for all its spinning, is remarkably consistent. The Earth's rotational speed at any given point on its surface remains constant. We, as inhabitants of this spinning planet, are moving along with it. We're all part of the same merry-go-round, spinning at the same speed in the same direction. And as long as that speed remains constant, we remain blissfully unaware of the ride. So let's dig deeper. Let's delve into the numbers and discover why we remain unflustered by our planet's constant spin. Inertia, Newton's first law of motion, plays a critical role in our unperceived ride. Imagine sitting on a train engrossed in a book. You don't feel the constant speed, only the jolts when the train changes speed or direction. This is because you, the book, and the train are all moving together. This principle, my friends, is inertia. And it's the very reason we do not feel the Earth's rotation. Inertia, simply put, is the reluctance of an object to change its state of motion. An object at rest likes to stay at rest, and an object in motion prefers to stay in motion. This principle was introduced to us by none other than Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. Now let's apply this to our planet. The Earth, a sphere with a mass of nearly six sextillion kilograms, is spinning on its axis. But we, along with everything else on Earth, are spinning at the same speed. Just like the train scenario, we don't feel this motion because we're all moving together. You see, inertia explains why we don't fly off into space as the Earth spins. We're not just sitting on the Earth, we're moving with it in a straight line. However, the Earth's gravity pulls us toward its center, causing us to move in a circular path instead. This constant change in direction is what creates the illusion of us standing still. It's fascinating, isn't it? How we're all spinning at a thousand miles per hour, yet our coffee doesn't spill, our buildings don't topple, and we don't feel dizzy. That's the magic of inertia. But remember, inertia isn't just about motion, it's also about resistance to change. And that's a principle that applies not only to the physical world, but also to our lives. It's why change can be hard, and why sometimes it takes a substantial force to set things in motion. Ah, with inertia at play, we're all just passengers on Earth's non-stop journey. Gravity, the unseen force, holds us firmly on the ground even as Earth spins. But what is gravity, and how does it keep us grounded? You might be surprised to know that gravity is a force of attraction that exists between any two masses. And in our case, it's the force that the Earth exerts on us, pulling us towards its center. Now, when we talk about gravity, we often refer to the number 9.8 meters per second squared. This is the acceleration due to gravity at the Earth's surface, which means that for every second an object is in free fall, its velocity will increase by about 9.8 meters per second. This force of gravity is always directed towards the center of the Earth. It's what keeps us anchored to the ground and prevents us from floating off into space. But there's another force at play here that's equally as important. As the Earth spins on its axis, objects on its surface are subjected to a centrifugal force. This force is directed away from the Earth's axis of rotation and it tends to fling things outward. It's the same force you feel when you spin a bucket of water around and the water stays in the bucket instead of spilling out. Here's the fascinating part. The force of gravity and the centrifugal force due to Earth's rotation are in a constant tug of war. 
While one pulls us towards the Earth's center, the other tries to fling us off into space, but because the force of gravity is so much stronger, we don't get flung off into the cosmos. Instead, we stay firmly rooted to the ground, blissfully unaware of the incredible speed at which we're spinning. The Earth spins at a speed of roughly 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator, yet we don't feel this motion because of the powerful pull of gravity. So gravity, our invisible glue, keeps us oblivious to Earth's rapid rotation. Centrifugal force, often misunderstood, also plays a part in this cosmic dance. Let's dive into this fascinating concept and unravel its mysteries. Centrifugal force is an apparent force that acts outward on a body moving in a circular path. It's often described as the force that keeps everything in check during a merry-go-round ride, preventing you from being flung into the abyss. In the context of our Earth, it's this force that subtly counteracts the pull of gravity. As a result of our planet's rotation, you see as Earth spins on its axis, everything on it, including us, is carried along in a circular path. This motion creates an outward force, the centrifugal force. It's like when you swing a bucket of water over your head and the water doesn't spill. That's centrifugal force in action. The interesting part is this force isn't uniform across the Earth. It varies with latitude. At the poles, where the spin is virtually zero, the centrifugal force, too, is zero. But as we move towards the equator, the speed of rotation increases. Consequently, the centrifugal force also increases, reaching its maximum at the equator. Now, you may wonder, if the centrifugal force is maximum at the equator, why aren't things lighter there? Well, it's because while the centrifugal force increases towards the equator, so does the Earth's bulge due to its rotation. This bulge increases the distance from the center of the Earth, thereby reducing the gravitational pull slightly, so the effects somewhat cancel each other out. However, it's essential to note that the centrifugal force is much weaker than the force of gravity. For instance, if you weigh 100 pounds at the North Pole, you'd still weigh about 99.7 pounds at the equator due to the centrifugal effect. So, while it's a significant player in the cosmic dance, it's not the leading one, yet the centrifugal effect barely makes a dent in our daily lives, thanks to the mighty gravity. So why don't we feel Earth's rotation? It's a delicate balance of forces. Let's do some quick recap. Inertia, our first player, keeps us moving with the Earth because we, as objects, want to maintain our state of motion. Remember, we're like passengers in a smoothly cruising car, oblivious to the speed outside. Next up, Gravity, the invisible glue, holds us down and keeps us from flinging into space. It's the force pulling us toward the center of the Earth, ensuring we don't get thrown off by the Earth's spin. Finally, the centrifugal force comes into play. This is the outward force that we feel when spinning, like when you're on a merry-go-round. But on Earth, this force is minuscule compared to gravity, so we don't notice it. So there you have it. The numbers speak for themselves. We remain blissfully unaware of our planet's spin thanks to the intricate interplay of forces at work. Remember, we're all just along for the ride.